Are you a lad or dad who's looking to lose weight and put on muscle this January? Most people fail their January diets and training plans, and I don't want you to be one of them. So how can you make this January different to all the other Januaries? Well, you should start with your goal setting. I wanna lose six pounds in a week. I wanna lose a stone in two weeks. If you're looking to lose weight, you should only be looking to lose one to two pounds of body fat per week. Don't dismiss losing only one pound of body fat. If you lost one pound of fat a week for the next six months, you'd be pretty damn slim. So set realistic goals. If you need some direction with losing weight or gaining muscle, there's a free plan in the link in my bio. Next point on goal setting. Lads, you can lose a ton of weight by eating 1600 calories a day. I've seen loads of guys, six foot guys, put themselves on 1600 calories a day and within the first one to two weeks, they lose a bunch of weight. But guess what? They almost never keep their weight off, and if anything, they end up worse than when they started. Let's play out the idea of eating 1,600 calories as a guy. You drop a reasonable amount of weight in the first one to two weeks, positively reinforcing this caloric punishment. So you miserably persist into a third week of dieting, and then you might have a wedding or you might have a social event. You have one or two drinks and you think, I'm bloody miserable. If this is the cost of losing weight, then I'm out, I'm done. But I've got news. If you're less restrictive, more patient, and you're willing to delay achieving those results, the chances of you achieving the results and keeping them skyrockets. If you can't see yourself on the diet or training plan for more than six months, then stop entertaining it for the first two weeks of January. Moving on from that point, going over your calories. Going over your calories should never be the end of the world. If you got a flat tire, you wouldn't then proceed to take a knife, stab the remaining three, would you? No, but for some reason, when people go off their diet or go over their calories, they seem to sabotage weeks of hard work. They panic and become disheartened. If you go over your calories, get back on track the next day, learn from the mistake, make the adjustments and move on. Stop punishing yourself so much for going over your calories. My next point is a little bit cliche, but it's cliche for a reason. Your reason why matters. The reason why you wanna lose weight, the reason why you wanna gain muscle. You know how horrible your alarm is first thing in the morning. I've got a trick to make that alarm way less crappy. If your motivation for getting out of bed to go to the gym for losing weight is based in making yourself look better naked, then your brain has a relatively easy time performing these mental gymnastics to give you every reason to press snooze. But here's the trick. If you anchor your reason for losing weight, for getting out of bed, for getting to the gym, outside of looking better naked and flexing in the mirror, like being able to play with your kids without pulling your back, living a longer, more full life for your kids, or becoming way more confident with your kids off to help with your dating confidence or your relationship, whatever it is, have an undeniably important reason to not press snooze. Make the goal bigger than you. And when it's just you against your thoughts, you can pull on that reason to get you out of that frame of mind. Okay, finally, it's January. It's the time of year when everyone seems to think they should shift some timber. But should it be that way? Or is it just what you and your friends have done for the past five or 10 years? Have you thought about changing your approach this time so your results actually stay? Some of you shouldn't be focusing on restriction. You should be focusing on adding things into your lifestyle and routine, like a protein target, 10,000 steps a day, two liters of water a day, two gym sessions a week. The more you add in, the less you have space for bullshit, like scrolling on TikTok or eating foods that make you feel crap. Stop expecting results from doing the exact same thing that you did the year before that failed. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, share it with somebody who's looking to make a change this January. If you're looking for some direction and help this January, there's a free plan in my Instagram bio. Anyway, thank you for listening or watching wherever you are. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, YouTube, all as Harrison Trains. Thank you.